Hello. So, I have a love-hate relationship with my mom. She hates me. Um, let me describe her to you. She's four foot ten. She's Vietnamese and she has a ton of opinions. Okay, so she came to visit me two weeks ago and she's like, you know what? You know, it's fine, but your chin, oh, you need a chin implant. Then she'll stare at this mole right here and she goes, you know what, your mole, it evil, you need to burn it off. <laughs> then we'll be eating and she'll be like, you know what, you know, look Vietnamese, you need to finish your Vietnamese food, finish your pho. I took my mom to the Katy Perry movie, and halfway through the movie, she looks at me and says, is this lady doing a good job acting like a singer? <laughs> I'm like, she is a singer. So at the end of the movie, I explained to my mom what a documentary was, and she goes, I don't like documentary. They too cheap to buy a real actor. <laughs> My mom, she, because she, she's like obsessed with someone every year. This year, she's obsessed with Queen Elizabeth. She's like, do you have something ready for the queen? I'm like, what? She's like, if the queen see you on YouTube, you have something prepared for her? Okay, so apparently my mom thinks the queen sits around Buckingham Palace, trolling the internet, looking for a struggling half-Asian actress whose claim to fame was a co-star role on Don't Trust the Bitch on Apartment 23, and whose close-up got cut out, and no one believes she's in the episode, she just has to scroll to the end to show that she's in the credits. <laughs> Last year, my mom was obsessed with Elizabeth Taylor. Did you read her biography? If they ask you to act like her in a movie, you think you can do it? <laughs> and the year before that, it was Brooke Shields. Can you do your makeup like Brooke Shields? I bet if you can, you get acting job. <laughs> I took my mom to Winchester Mansion. Any of you guys know where that is? Where that is? It's this mansion in San Jose that was owned by this rich widow. And she went to a medium who told her that if she kept building on the house, she would never die. So the house is totally crazy. Like, there's stairways leading to the ceiling. You open a door, there's another door. You open a window, it leads to a wall. It's totally nuts, right? So I take my mom to the, to, to the, uh, to the blah, blah 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 to the Winchester Mansion tour, and the tour guide opens up the pantry, which leads to a door, and he goes. So as you can see, Mrs. Winchester was a little bit crazy, and my mom says, "She not crazy. She smart lady. No ghost getting in here." <laughs> if you're wearing a name tag, my mom loves to say your name. She'll be like, "Hello, Diego. How are you, Jennifer?" Oh my God, your mom named you Jesus? <laughs> I have a lot of shitty jobs, okay? And one of them is perfume spritzing, <laughs> all right? I stand in the entrance of Macy's and I hand out little pieces of paper with perfume spritzed on them, okay? And you can't believe the way people treat me. You would think I was Quasimodo handing out anthrax. <laughs> The minute they see me, they'll dart into the shoe department to avoid me. Or they'll tell me what they're wearing instead, like, oh, I wear Curve. And I want to be like, it is not 1998 and you are not in middle school. I had one lady grab it for me and throw it at me. Oh my God. Okay, so I had a shift and I had it. It was the end of my shift and I hadn't sold anything and I was desperate, okay? And this really large, unattractive Hispanic lady comes towards me and she goes, Oh, mija, what smells so good? I'm like, oh, it's Shador by Dior. You should buy yourself a bottle. She's like, oh, it's too expensive. 
expensive. I'm like, oh, well, if you open up a Macy's card, you'll save 20%. She goes, oh, it doesn't stay on my skin. I'm like, oh, well, you're in luck. This stays on for seven hours, guaranteed. She's like, oh, does it come with a free gift? I'm like, oh, yes, it comes with this beautiful jewelry case. And my coworker Cynthia was wearing it, and that's how she met her husband. So she grabs the bottle out of my hand, she sprays it all over herself, and she goes, oh, so if I wear this, does that mean I'm going to get a boyfriend? And I looked at her and said, oh, no. <laughs> I'm also a substitute teacher. <laughs> People are like, why don't you become a real teacher? And I say, I'd rather kill myself. <laughs> When you sub for the little kids, the parents drop the kids off to the classroom before school starts. And when they see their regular teacher isn't there, they totally freak out. They're like, where's Miss Lang? Is Miss Lang sick? Or, oh no, what are you gonna teach the kids? And I wanna be like, I don't know, lady. I got the call at 5 a.m. that I'm gonna teach this class. I thought we snort some blow off Kevin's desk. And then I would attempt to teach fifth grade math, which is gonna be tricky because I can't balance my checkbook. <laughs> One time I was subbing for seventh grade science and the kids were watching a movie. This kid gets up, grabs a tissue, blows his nose, takes the tissue, wipes his butt, then sniffs the tissue. <laughs> Okay, I felt bad later on because I found out he was special ed. But then I was horrified to find out that his parents named him Jason Pooh. <laughs> Jason Pooh. Okay, my mom doesn't understand why I have all these jobs. She thinks that if I want to be an actor, I'm going about it the wrong way. So she's like, you know what you need to do? You need to find out where Barbara Streisand lives. <laughs> you knock on her door. You tell her you want to be her maid. <laughs> she see how hard you work. She help you get acting jobs. Thank you very much. I'm Elizabeth Mercer.